Okay, as for troubleshoot of these things, the most common problem is the couplers. Now the couplers don't cause the failure, they're the symptom of the failure. You will get a, uh, a call that there's a bunch of noise coming from the uh, boiler and then uh, you go down there and this thing's rattle banging around in there and the springs are all broke off or stuff. Or it just doesn't work at all. Well, the coupler is not really the problem. I mean, it's failed, but it failed because of another problem. I'd love this part to be bad. That is the uh, rubber mount on the motor. It looks pretty good. How you tell if there's a problem is you look, this, uh, these are supposed to be vertical, uh, these heavy parts of this rubber. If you see that it is sagged down, this one sagged down because this, let me turn this around because this is really the bottom of this thing. Uh, you can see it's down just a little bit, not down very bad. Uh, but you'll see these things down quite a ways down there. They, they will have sagged. You get oil in them and the oil softens the rubber and it puts the two shafts out of line. Uh, two shafts, of course, the motor shaft and the shaft in here in the bearing assembly. So, if you find one of these that has the coupler fail, don't just change a coupler, you'll be back next season, sometimes earlier. Replace the mounts. The mounts are not real simple to take off, but they're not that bad. Uh, I'll kind of demonstrate that. Okay, in order to get these bearing or the uh, mounts off, all you got to do is just put a screwdriver back there. And they're gone. Nothing much to it. Good on both sides, and you got it done. Okay. When we get down to this bearing assembly, occasionally when you have the failure of these uh, couplers, that bearing assembly will start to leak. Now normally, when something like that happens, I usually figure, well, let's uh, cut our losses and replace a bearing assembly. Uh, this is the one place where I don't do that. That bearing assembly, one thing it's expensive as heck. Uh, the next thing about it is when you take the bearing assembly off, you have to break in the water system. Every time you break in the water system, that means you've got to bleed it. Uh, you can have some real long bleeds on some of these machines, and you can take what was a very simple job of replacing these things and make it into a very expensive and long job. I have had very good luck with not worrying about this thing, just let it go. They usually will seal up. The only reason they uh, started leaking is when this silly thing started flopping around, the seal started leaking. So. I don't really recommend replacing that if it's leaking unless it had been leaking, you know, and there was no other symptoms. You know, there was no failed coupler or anything like that. Uh, another thing about these couplers, there's three types of these couplers. There's a cast iron one, and where these pieces are cast, there are uh, the form sheet metal ones like this and there's plastic ones. The plastic ones I haven't been real thrilled with. I don't think they held up that good. Uh, this one's been okay. I actually prefer the cast iron ones, but most of the cast iron ones have the heavy springs on them. These, this is a light spring. The heavy spring on them is for commercial. This would be 
you know, something maybe third horsepower or something like that. Uh, by the way, these motors are extremely small. Uh, this is a 1 12th horsepower motor. Very small. Uh, but uh, this one's okay. I haven't had a lot of problem with that one. Uh, but either the cast one or this one, and if I'm using the cast one, you got to make sure it does not have the heavy springs on it. I don't have any numbers on those things. If I did, I'd give them to you. But uh, if you use the ones with the heavy springs on the light ones, they tend to make a little bit of noise. Okay, one last thing about these things. They have oilers on them. Okay. Uh, when you oil these, to look inside there, okay, let's take a look inside this, uh, this bearing assembly. It's not real easy to see in there, but... There we go. This this rope stuff that's to hold oil. It's all wrapped around this uh, bearing. This bearing takes two tablespoons of oil per season. Start up two tablespoons. It's a lot of oil. Use every bit of it. This one takes about a teaspoonful. This one, about 20 drops. If you follow this practice, you won't have any problems with these bearings on the, on the bearing assembly. If you don't, you will seize up that shaft in there if you don't put enough oil in that thing. Be sure you get enough oil in that thing. Okay, for troubleshoot on these things, just kind of an overview. Coupler, coupler fails. That means motor mounts have sagged. Replace motor mounts and coupler. Uh, oiling, two tablespoons, one teaspoon, 20 drops. Other than that, these things uh, oftentimes last 30 to 50 years. They actually do last that long. Um, and that's a B&G. We will talk about some of the other pumps here in the future.